a new community is emerging from the wonders of the wild. It's something that we have never done before and something we'll never do again. You're totally immersed and you forget about the outside world. A land where each sunrise brings new adventures. You can't go anywhere else on the planet and find a resort like this. A village alive with the spirit of the savannah. Karaboni, welcome. This is the story of Disney's Animal Kingdom Villas. Come with us now as we discover a new Disney Vacation Club experience just over the horizon. We're creating Disney's Animal Kingdom Villas because our guests and members are constantly asking for a different resort experience. They want us to constantly take it up a notch and give them something that they can't get anywhere else. And we really think that we absolutely nailed it with Disney's Animal Kingdom Villas. When I heard that Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge was going to become part of Disney Vacation Club, it was really a thrilling day. I was excited to know that we're finally going to become part of the Vacation Club family. You have to realize that this resort already, already here is quite fantastic. And so when you start to think about that, you look at the land surrounding this resort and, and start to think about where can the new resort go, you know, how can you complement the existing structure, how is it going to build in and really just continue to add on to the experience. Probably with this this resort alone, we've put together over 20 different sites before we ended up with the, the plan that we're actually going to construct. The resort's first vacation homes will open a Jumbo House, the name of the existing building of Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. Select guest rooms will be converted into new Disney Vacation Club vacation homes to create Disney's Animal Kingdom Villas with studio, one, two, and three bedroom accommodations planned. Later, Disney Vacation Club is planning to construct Kadane Village, an exciting addition to Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. By bringing vacation homes to Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge, the villas will create a new Disney Vacation Club experience. Well, all the growth in Disney Vacation Club to me is, is just a sign that, of what a good idea it is. I, you know, bad ideas don't grow, good ones do. And, and this is really a good one. To build Disney's Animal Kingdom villas, Disney Vacation Club turned to the creative minds at Walt Disney Imagineering. Imagineering, first and foremost, is a storyteller. And what we do is we, we take a story and bring it to life through physical facilities, through the functionality of a given resort, and through those designs, through a themed environment, to provide an immersive experience for the guests to enjoy something that they are not going to find at home. Imagineering was well prepared to create the new resort. To build Jumbo House at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge, they traveled around the world. We sent a large team of project members to Africa. It included Imagineers and some of the consultants and other team members. When they were there, they took a lot of photographs, met with a lot of people, cultural representatives, even chefs to understand what happens in Africa so that we could take a piece of that and bring it home with us. As guests arrive, the spirit of Africa is brought to life throughout the lobby of the existing Jumbo House, the building where Disney Vacation Club is scheduled to open the first phase of vacation homes in fall 2007. It's amazing just to sit back and watch the guests for the first time enter the space and really see and appreciate what we've done. We kind of coined a phrase early on, we called it the eyes up, jaws down reaction, because that's exactly what we would see from every guest when they would walk in. They would look up and their jaws would drop down every time. As you walk in, it just continues to grow and the excitement just kind of builds as you walk through the lobby, just seeing the, the large glass that looks out into the open savannah and seeing the animals run out free in the savannah just outside the lobby. The hotel and now the villas, which are going to be added to it, uh, are really are a unique experience, I think, because they really are out there in the savannah with 
a lot of the animals. There they are in the morning when you get up, and there they are in the evening when you're sitting around uh, relaxing after a day at the park. With both public spaces and vacation homes overlooking the savannas, the resort gives Disney Vacation Club members and guests the chance to stay among truly magnificent creatures. One of my favorite stories of seeing guests interact with the animals is uh, we were out in the savannah driving around first thing in the morning. There was a cool mist in the air and everything was nice and quiet. And up on the top balcony, I heard at the top of his lungs, a little boy scream, giraffe, mom, giraffe. And then you start seeing the lights flip on and everybody starts stepping out onto their balcony. So seeing that little boy going crazy up on the top floor first thing in the morning was a great experience. I know that that was the first time that that child got to see a giraffe in person um, and he was excited, so that made me excited. The surprise of seeing these beautiful animals up close helps create memories that families cherish for years and years. I think my youngest son at the time was about three years old. When he's about 10 now, we actually had him here, and it was the first morning that we got up, and he looked outside the window, and he saw the animals on the savanna. And just to see the smile on his face, you know, that's, that's special. That's priceless for a parent. At the resort, guests also have the chance to see African species, like the bongo antelope and the Red River hog in an uncommon setting. The Red River hogs is something that we're very proud of. Not many uh, zoos have Red River hogs, and for us to be able to house them in multi-species exhibits and in large acreage where they can interact with the other animals and interact with each other is a really neat thing. The animals really are the resort experience. That's the unique thing about Animal Kingdom and, and the hotel and all the rest. You're the guest. The animals are at home there, and you're sort of in their house. And that is, I believe, is a unique experience anywhere. Seeing a savanna in central Florida is unique in its own way, and the animals help to create the effect. It's very difficult to create an African savanna out of a Florida landscape. However, what we try to do is give the guest what their expectations are. If anyone thinks of Africa, you think of those large trees with the flat bottoms and the kind of mushroom or cloud top. Well, fortunately, our giraffes help us with that as they eat the bottom of the trees for us to provide that same look for us. To add to the vacation homes and recreation options already existing at Jumbo House, the new Kadani Village will bring additional villa accommodations and amenities to explore when construction is scheduled for completion in summer 2009. We've already just started construction on the conversion, and that is here in the existing resort of Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge, we're going to be converting some of the existing rooms and kind of expanding them and making them into our vacation club villas. And then we'll continue forward with building of Kadani Village, which is the really larger section of the new Disney Vacation uh, Club Villas. Kadani Village, Disney Vacation Club's new construction, has special inspiration behind its design. The shape of the building is in the shape of the horns of the Cape Buffalo, native of Africa. You can see that uh, in the layout, that the center portion is like the cap of the, the horns where it meets the head of the the buffalo and then the horns as they radiate out. The word Kadani means necklace in Swahili, and Imagineers are designing Kadani Village to carry out this idea. The inspiration for that came from when we went down to Africa for our research and noticed these beautiful necklaces that the traditional Africans wore with the large clunky beads with the small knots. If you look at the floor plan of the resort, you'll see the same shape with the accommodations forming the beads and then the bridges forming the knots. Guests staying at the new Kadani village will find an entire range of amenities to explore while still being able to enjoy all that Jumbo House has to offer. We're going to add a, a new theme restaurant, which is going to be very exciting. Uh, more sports and recreation facilities. We're going to leverage a lot of the existing amenities, but we're going to add to it. And that's something that you really have to do because we're expanding this in a significant way. One of the most intriguing additions is Uwanja Camp, a new recreation area where guests of all ages can play and refresh. 
In our new water play area, we're going to have our traditional pool, 5,000 square feet of pool space, uh, heavily themed with uh, uh, plants and architecture. But in a play area, you're going to have uh, water pop fountains and, and interactive water features. It'll be great for kids from uh, toddlers all the way up to teenagers. After a day of exploration, guests will retire to superb new vacation homes, each blending the comforts of home with the spirit of the savannah. In our guest rooms, everything from the furniture to the uh, surface materials to the finishes, uh, everything about it is going to be reminiscent of Africa, if not truly authentic to Africa. The art on the walls, the entire room experience will definitely be a fantastic African experience. The, the whole sense of it is very, very reminiscent of what you might find if you go over there sort of all distilled into one place. When a guest walks in, we're hoping that they can feel like they're walking into an African savanna. All of the design, all of the carvings, all of the patterns are custom and it's authentic from Africa. What we did for the living room area as well as the kitchen is treat that that area is the foundation of African design. So it's all earth tones, and the color actually comes in in the accents and the artwork. We have telephone wire baskets, brightly colored telephone wire baskets over the banquette. We have unique contemporary artwork over the sofa. The new villas at both Jumbo House and at Kidani Village would include familiar Disney Vacation Club features, but they'll also have something new for members. All vacation homes will include flat panel TVs, and one bedrooms at Kidani Village will be designed with larger families in mind. You'll actually be able to sleep five to accommodate five folks in a one bedroom unit, which is something that we've heard from from our members that is something they really were very interested in. At Kadani Village, a brand new savanna is also being added, with plans calling for animals not currently seen at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. Our Disney Vacation Club members are going to have something, some bragging rights when they go home to say, hey, I was out on our own savanna looking at these unique animals that have been placed there just for us. And uh, I think that's something that, you know, is, is well above most places. The animals do an awful lot to enhance the experience for the guests, but they do some other things as well. Uh, they're a great opportunity to, to develop awareness and understanding uh, about Africa, uh, about its wildlife, as well as its people and culture. The resort experience is enhanced by cultural representatives from Africa who share stories of their homelands. Well, we go to Africa once a year and we do a recruiting trip all throughout a variety of countries. We've been to South Africa, Namibia, Botswana, Swaziland, Kenya, Zambia, and we bring cultural representatives back here who are extremely passionate about sharing their culture with Americans and any other international guests that come here to Walt Disney World. One of the most popular activities we have at the resort is our African storytelling, which usually happens right at the fire pit at sundown. And the cultural representative will come out and talk a little bit about the importance of African folk tales and storytelling in their culture. And then they'll tell at least one or sometimes a few different African fables and try and get the kids involved and get them to figure out the moral of the story. To enhance the resort experience, Walt Disney Imagineers also placed African antiques and art work throughout the resort. The art collection at the Animal Kingdom Lodge and the one being developed for the villas is one of the best kept secrets I think here at this resort. What a lot of people don't realize as they walk by is that we have one of the most extensive authentic African art collections in all of North America. The Imagineers worked with other team members and actually went to Africa to acquire the artwork that you see today including the beaded elements, the sculptural elements, and the fabric. The highlight of the collection is the Ajoli mask, which is a one-of-a-kind mask that is danced every century. There's only one of its kind located outside of Africa, and we're the proud owners of it. One of the interesting aspects of our art collection are the bronze medallions that line the center of the lobby floor. A very well-known artist in Africa was commissioned to put these pieces together for us. And if you look really close on one of the medallions, there's a little 
hidden lizard, which is the symbol or the emblem of the artist who does that work. And anytime he does a piece of work, you'll find his little gecko hidden somewhere in there. To remain authentic to Africa, Imagineers also carefully chose the names of the resort and its amenities. For the naming of Disney's Animal Kingdom Villas, we went and used African names. For example, Kidani Village translates to necklace. Additionally, Maji, which is the pool bar, represents water. Samawati Springs, which is the pool itself, is azure. And Sana, which will be the name for the restaurant, is artwork. Disney Vacation Club members and guests can experience Disney's Animal Kingdom Villas scheduled to begin opening in fall of 2007, staying in vacation homes at Jumbo House, with Kadani Village scheduled to open in phases starting in early 2009. From the moment members and guests arrive this year, they'll be able to enjoy all that Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge has to offer. So just the views that you get from the existing savanna, the restaurants that we currently have here, the sports and recreation facilities, the transportation, you name it, all of that is open to you. Well, having spent a little time with some vacation club members on the, on the cruise ship not so very long ago, uh, I promise you they're all going to have a ball. I know how they enjoyed the cruise ship. So uh, I think this is going to be an amazing addition to the the array of possibilities they have. As the decades pass and guests return again and again, each visit will be a wild new experience. The new Vacation Club will be almost feel like a live resort with the landscaping that'll be around the building. It'll continue to evolve, continue to grow like the building is alive. So it'll be a little bit different each time a guest will arrive. Even the animal encounters would change from year to year. The way the hotel is designed, we have multiple uh, exhibit spaces. So the animals that you see out one window uh, of the balcony that you're staying in are gonna be completely different than the animals on the other side. I think I could describe the resort the experience for our guests and members in really in one word, and it's wow. When a guest walks in, if they're not smiling, we didn't do our job. With its authentic details and appreciation for the natural world, Disney's Animal Kingdom Villas seeks to carry on a tradition that began with Walt Disney himself. I'm being asked a lot what Walt would have thought of this, that, and the other, and I always, for a long time, I used to say, I have no idea what Walt would have thought, and uh, it's an unfair question. Uh, in this case, I almost am willing to volunteer the idea that he would love this place. This is very much in the philosophy of, of what he enjoyed, what he did, what he saw as part of the mission, I think. Our members are just gonna go nuts. They're gonna come here and they're gonna fall in love with this place. They're gonna look at the African-themed architecture, uh, our attention to detail. They're gonna look at the spaciousness of the rooms, the first-class accommodations, the service. They're gonna get up in the morning and they're gonna get out and they're gonna look at these animals on the savanna and they're gonna feel like they're in a very, very special place. It really, truly evokes a feeling of a home, and it's a place where people come, and our, our catchphrase, if you will, is welcome home, and we really say that, but you know what, more importantly, we really mean that. Take your place among Earth's most beautiful creatures. Immerse yourself in the wonders of the wild. Join us this year at Disney's Animal Kingdom Villas. Life's greatest expedition starts now.